To commission the MS300 Delta Drive, you're going to need the manual. The website is delta-americas.com. Once there, under Services and Support, you'll find the Download Center. Once at the Download Center, select Industrial Automation, Inverters, MS300, and the information you're looking for, most important now, is the technical document. And click Submit. You can see we have optional commissioning software, which, which I'll show at the end. But most importantly for now is the manual. The manual is well laid out in the table of contents. What we need first is wiring. Specifically for this manual, page 29. It gives a great overview of wiring the drive. The default configuration for MI1 is a forward command with MI2 being the reverse command. Here they're switched to the DCM terminal. That's because of the position of the NPN PNP switch, which I believe defaults to NPN. For more information on the switch, you should have a look at the top cover that comes with the drive, shown here in the manual. The NPN PNP switch is the rightmost of the three switches. You'll need to know how to use the keypad. The manual covers this in depth, starting on page 132. The biggest need for the manual comes in the parameter descriptions. It does a good job of breaking out the parameter categories. And to start with, I'd like to factory default my drive just to make sure I know where I'm starting from. And that's described on page 189. Setting parameter 00-02 to a 10 will reset my drive to the 60 cycle factory defaults. One of the more important parameters for motor data is the current to thermally protect our motor. Parameter 5-01. Two very important parameters are where does the drive get its speed reference from and its commands from. Those are parameters 20 and 21. So to run from the dial, I must set 20 to a 7. And parameter 21 is where do I get my commands from? And I'm going to set it for external terminals. Now for testing, the mode button will cycle me through monitoring different things on the drive. I'm going to look for the output frequency, H. Closing MI1 should give me a run forward command as indicated in the top left corner. I should have speed control with the knob on the parameter unit. And then disconnecting the wires should start my deceleration. There's also commissioning software. You'll see I got a USB cable plugged into the drive, connected to my computer, selecting the COM port. It's a pretty simple software. I can read all of the parameters out of the drive. And it does give me a great overview of the parameters, but no descriptions of all of the individual settings. So the manual is still very important. 